Good day, everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about test for normality. How do we test that a set of data or a set of sample data came from a normal population? So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. <clears throat> a sample of 10 people ingested a new formulation of a drug. Six hours later, the concentration in their bloodstream in nanograms per milliliter were as follows, 2.3, 1.4, 1.8, 1 1.0, 1.1, 1.0, 4.1, 1.8, 2.9, 2.5, and 2.7. Is it reasonable to assume that the sample came from a normal population? We got to test it out. So first we will enter the data in L1. So first we will clear the memory of the calculator, press the second button on the top left, then plus sign on top of enter then select number four, okay? In that way, we will get clear all list on the calculator screen. Hit enter, done. Then stat one, okay? We are going to enter the data set in L1. So we will do 2.3 in L1, first data point, then 1.4 and enter, then 1.8 and enter, 2.1 and enter, one, then 4.1, 1.8 and enter, 2.9 and enter, 2.5 and enter, 2.7 and enter, okay? Now, after entering the data, press stat, press stat button again, then number two, sort A. Sort A stands for sort the data in ascending order from lowest to the highest. So inside the parenthesis, we need to put L1, okay? Now, uh, so we do that by pressing second button and one, that will get you LN, uh, L1, second and one gets you L1 inside the parenthesis. Close the right parenthesis and hit enter and it says done. That means the data set in L1 has been arranged in ascending order, like I show here, from the lowest to the highest. You can press the stat button, then number one to make sure that the, the data is arranged in the ascending order from lowest to the highest, okay? Now we need to check out whether this uh, data uh, came from a normal population. So we would like to do a quantile plot and TI-84 has a built-in function to do that. So what do we do? We press second Y equal to, then press number one. The first line, the cursor should be on on, put the cursor on on, it should be flashing on on. Then the type, the second line, we should select the last type of chart, the sixth type of chart, okay? Press enter. Okay, so it should be flashing on the sixth chart, okay? Then uh, your data list should be L1, okay? If it is not L1, make it L1 by second one. Then you press the zoom button. Where is the zoom button? It is, the, uh, it is in the top row, the third key, zoom button, and then select number nine, okay? And you will see a plot like this. Notice all the points in this quantile plot do not follow a single straight line. Uh, it kind of goes up and then again, changes the slope and kind of flattens out at the end. So bottom line, these points do not fall on a single straight line. All the points do not fall on a single straight line. If the sample data came from a normal population, all the points in this quantile plot when arranged in ascending order will fall on a single straight line. Since the points in the quantile plot did not fall on a single straight line, this sample did not come from a normal population. I will stop here today. If you have any question, write me a comment and I'll gladly answer your question. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And I will come back next time with another problem, another solution. 
thanks for taking the time to watch my video i appreciate that and see you next time take care have a nice day